Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today I have the day five of Flamingo Fridays. This is the last day of projects. Next Friday, we will have our show and tell, so people will be showing what they made, um, if they turned their all their little projects into one big project, or even just showing you their five projects. So um, again, this is a collaboration with Kara Branding Creations and Dear Julie Julie. I'm excited that we have announced our fall collaboration and we are changing it to a challenge hop. So it is going to have the challenge aspect with a prize and um, the prize is for everyone that finishes all five days of fall and posts it on time so that we can um, share it. And so that the details will be on Care Branded Creations on Tuesday, September 6th, a live video, one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We'll have more information here. But for the details for fall and the reveal of the kits, you'll want to be here Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Okay, or at on Kara's channel. So we have Kara's page, and she has put us together another beautiful collage and um, all things tropical. I love that this flower, it does go with this flower. Um, that is awesome. So we do these separate. Now she, uh, did she, I think she did her pages first this time and I did mine second and that's what's going to happen in fall also. She has hers done. I'm still working on mine. Um, but this is the Dear Julie Julie page. So you'll see that my pieces are antique pieces. These are all over a hundred years old. And that I'm using and then she has done this beautiful collage and she I believe she uses Photoshop and so you've got two totally different uh, styles and we're gonna be working and putting those two together so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut all of these out and I'll be right back okay well I sort of cut them out I did get these cut out and I have these. These I went ahead and I have left them so that I can use my postage scissors to cut around those. I'm going to start by cutting right up against the edge on this one. So I want to remind you that we have several flamingos, we're calling them this time, that are playing along and have taken the kits and will be sharing those. We are using the hashtag Flamingo Fridays 2022. So you'll want to, um, to look for that. We have flamingos that are sharing on YouTube. They're sharing videos. We have flamingos that are sharing um, Instagram and then we have some that are also on Facebook and Pinterest so um, you can check check those out um, and also we will be looking for fall um, fawns I believe we're calling them the fall fawns and so they will be doing the same thing. They get the kits and they are able to help us get that out there. Now, um, you can participate in the Flamingo Friday. Use the hashtag, share it, get yourself out there. Um, and especially if you want to be a um, possibly one of the helpers in an upcoming challenge or collab. Um, that's where we're, we're going to probably see you is if you use the hashtag Flamingo Fridays 2022. So for this collab, we had five pages. Kara had a day a page for each day and Dear Julie Julie had a page for each day. And this is what 
the five look like. Those kits are still available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and the Kara Branding Creations Etsy shop. And you can still go ahead and make something and join in. Okay? So the other thing is, is I did not finish cutting this because I wanted you to see that you can actually use this as a page. Just um, fold it over and you can have a page to put inside your journal especially if you're doing a traveler's notebook style or size this would fit right right in okay but this time i am going to be making um i'm not going to use it that way <laughs> i'm not going to use it as a page this time because i need i know that when i get down to it i need ephemera so here we go. So I will have my, all of my flamingo stuff will be shown next Friday. So you'll see my finished July <coughs> challenge journal. You'll see what I made with this project, as well as I actually have some kits and some other things that never got put out there because of my vacations. Um, and so those will will come out as well okay so one of the things that uh, you can do with like with Kara's is you can fold it in half this could be a page in your journal it'll make a beautiful page also this right here would make a great flap okay for like a border tuck um, or even a double border tuck where you put glue here and you have a place for two cards. Um, and then to come over and kind of figure out where um, you might want to fold this. And probably I would fold it at the fish. Let's see where the half. Yeah, so the halfway is in front of that fish. So I would fold it here probably. Okay, in front of this fish. And so that's, the page, that's what you'll get for that page. So I think that would be a great page and I may do that if I go and I cut out another one um, but for right now we are going to use what we have here okay so in my stash I have I have an accordion little accordion dilly bobber okay and I think this came from just cut I'm a cool mom I'm not positive, but I think it did. And so what I'm thinking about doing is ripping out this area, okay? And putting that on here, okay? Because I wanna keep this, I think, to be able to use for something else. So trying to use her collage and not disrupt things that I might want to use for something else, okay? So I wanna, I wanna keep this flamingo because otherwise he's gonna get cut off, right? So if we come up in between the hibiscus, up the pineapple, I want the toucan is, what I really want here. There we go. We got him. Okay, so he can go on here. Let's go ahead and rip across the bottom here. I'm going to put my hand on his face and his feet because it's really close to the edge. Okay, we did it. Okay, so I have this piece left. I'm going to put it aside and bring this over here. Um, I really think that these are, are cool. The, the sayings, these are a separate, in a separate kit. You get pages and ephemera of these from Dear Julie Julie 
and they are awesome poems. I've got the large pages up here of it, okay? It's an art deco kit, but you get the poems. Okay, so, and there's, I think there's 40 pages to that kit also. Pages and ephemera, all different sizes. Okay, um, let's go ahead and back this on something. This might be too bright. <laughs> yeah, that's too bright. Too bright. Um, too big. Too bright, too big. I do like it though. Actually, really like it. I think we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this down. So I'll have this accordion pocket that was in my stash, and I'm I'm gonna be able to use this. Yay! Make sure you let us know when you get to use something that is in your stash that you're like super excited that I found the perfect thing to use this for. So I'm a member of um, her Patreon, Jessica Paper Terrace. And so this was something that I received in one of her Patreon mails. So the Emerald September Patreon mail is really cool. It is a um, farmhouse, shabby farmhouse, literally farm. It's got cows and black and white checked and trucks, all different colors of truck stickers that I was able to collect. Sunflowers. I thought it would be fun for for harvest time. Okay. There. Ooh, I like it very much. I like it very, very much. Okay, we have a yellow ticket here. From the, from the side with the ticket. Yeah, I like that. So just building a collage here. Wanting to make sure everything touches in some way. Okay, so we have this little guy. He's too big. Hmm. Okay. Well. There we go. I really like this. Okay. So we have been using a little bit of this washi tape. I want to do it that way or that way. I think we'll add that there. Okay, so there we go. We use some of the collage and we use that. I love it. I love it, I love it. And we have a an embellishment that is made. Okay, so now we've got our large pieces and I was, um, I was looking, I think I have, yeah, some more of the pieces of cardstock that I found yesterday. 
Okay, now remember, these are like eight and a quarter after I've taken the white off. So I'm gonna want to, to, um, to cut it down a little bit. Probably on both sides. And I could tear around this, but I don't, I don't think I want to, I don't want the waste. But I've got these two pieces. I'm going to save those because I might want to use those for something. And we're just going to go ahead, put this down and um, back it right on, right on this piece of cardstock that I have. Okay, so this is the Dear Julie Julie part. And we'll put it right on here. And we did discover this, this uh, glue stick, it holds down pretty quickly. So you, you wanna make your decision and get it down, but it works really, really good. I'm very happy with it. Okay, so liking that very much. Could flip it around and make it a pocket, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, let's see, I have this that's life is beautiful, you know. I'm going to put that aside over there. That that was, it just caught me out of the corner of my eye. And I'm like, oh, that would look good on that. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay, so here's this. So now, coming back to our page here. And thinking, wow, we've got this. Ooh, we've got this. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's let's try. I'm gonna rip. Being able to do this with um, collage is so cool. So I do have a new digital kit that came out. Um, yeah, uh, well, the VIP for. July for everybody that finished their July journal was on Ooh, I like this now if I go up higher this is what you'll see when it comes when it's out of a pocket so that might be better to come up higher I'm gonna go ahead and leave this because I can cut that down um, even with the edge um, yeah, so the new kit is a botanical bases kit. It's uh, over 60 pages of pages and ephemera. And it has bases. The, the, the pages are bases of pressed flowers. They're actually um, greenery mostly with some flowers. I'll show you at the end a couple of the pages. Okay, so just adding, oh my gosh, I really like that. Just adding that on there. Okay. I like that. Now I do have some this is from a from a wrapping paper I don't think we need the dragonfly well it takes the nose off okay so I might use that um, could go ahead and add Did 
do with the collage piece? Let's see. I could put this right down here in this corner. I've got a little ticket here. So that's what I have left still. But see how good these um, go together? Using them together. Now taking this and bringing it up so that it's up and overlapping that is helpful. Using this glue stick. I love these glue sticks. Oh my gosh. So I did get them at Spectrum Art Creations. Okay. Love it. Keeping it keeping it tropical here. Keeping it tropical. Let's see. That might be a little too purple. You know what I found in my stuff? I found found this and I was like, okay, yeah, that needs to go on something <laughs> something in here today. I really like this. I like it a lot. Did we use the tropical word yet? Tra Trapeze. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. So, hmm. Okay, we've been using the gold pen. Maybe we could go around this with the gold pen. Do my two straight lines. So this is the gold pen from Dollar Tree. Highly recommend it. Also watch Dollar General in case they come out with the one that they had last year that is a set. Okay, so we've we've golded around we've golded golded around there. Let's go ahead and we're just going to add some dots down here with our gold pen cuz because we've got it. <laughs> um, let's see, what if we pretend like that's a stamp? That we could do that. We could pretend like that's a stamp. I just, looking at this, and I think it needs something, something black. Okay, you know what, I have new, whoa. Instead of using my little one, I have the new this that I took out. So this was um, this from Spectrum Art Creations from last year. It is called Mailbox from Chow Bella. And look at all these little stamps that it has. We played with this a little bit yesterday. Um, I used, um, oh no, I didn't use them from this one. I used them from a different set. So this one here has a postcard. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we've got a postcard. Put it on this. Go ahead and put that on there. Okay, and then they also have on this stamp set. So let's put this back so I don't lose it. But they have the lines. So if you wanted to put those the lines on you could also put the lines I don't you know what I don't think I need the lines because um, yeah just don't it will just kind of go off the edge but I do like that look what do you think about that um, okay I want to use one of these round this one says insured this there's a square one or a rectangle that says registered. There's just oh these this is kind of cool. Just some just some words. Some text that's um, handwritten. I like that. Bring that down here. So if you're doing a dear Julie Julie challenge um, you know, one of the ways that you can, that is suggested to enhance is to add stamps. Okay, so there, we've just stamped right on top of there. Okay, let's clean this off. And we'll put it back. Okay, I really like that. I think that that is gonna be fun. And look at these squirrels. Are they so darn cute? I think they are so darn cute. Okay, okay, I think one of the things that I've been doing is I've been adding this adding the gold it comes out kind of faint which is I think is cool okay so just a little bit of gold there bit down here see if I can get it to come off the stencil <laughs> use what we've got on the stencil already a little bit down there I think this is going to be a great stencil to use with Alice in Wonderland and for for uh, for Halloween okay so added that and that and Okay, I like that. Um, I'm not gonna, at this time, I'm not gonna add anything to the top. Unless, you know what, we have, oh, it'll make it too tall. I have this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put this away. I'm going to call that one done and I may come back and add like a couple little things to it. Actually, you know what? We have the little 
palm tree. Oh, what if we do one of the... So this is a... A little tag. Where'd the palm tree? There's the palm tree. Okay. So I have the glossy accents. And I'm going to want to put this on on something. You'd think there would be a something here that I could use. Here. Okay. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> never fails. If it's a glue, it's not going to come out on the Dear Julie Julie channel, that's for sure. Okay. So this was a die cut from a little pack, I believe. move it because I don't want it to sit in the glue because it is also a glue okay we're going to set that aside and let it dry Okay, so we've got this little this little piece here and we have yellow tag. And then from the button box up here. Oh, you know what? I have I have some of these erasers left. We can make a, a little little flower. this one oh, then this one just basically the same but different <laughs> okay and then I have I have these I think if we go with the pink, because there's not as many chances to use the pink, I think. So let's go with this. We're going to go ahead and push this up in here. This is a little party eraser. You guys, they had some really cute erasers at... I can't remember if it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but there was some really, really cute. Um, they were at Michael's, and they were um, at my Michael's. They were on the other side of the checkout line in a little plastic container. Um, they had strawberries in them. They oh, they were so cute. Okay, so there's that that we can add. For a for a little charm and let's see so we don't need that better put it somewhere 
where it will be found later. So I just used my round jewelry tool to, to make that go round and round. And yeah, I'm still working on this one. So it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna get a hole with the crop dial. We can go ahead and give this one a a brad or a eyelet. Let's see what color we can find. Oh, we got an orange one. This is gonna. I mean, this is a very eclectic. <laughs> it's going to be a very eclectic journal. Whoa. Okay. Lost the lost the flower. Got a white flower. <laughs> so do do with what we've got. I I can't even. I don't see where that other one went. Okay, got it on there. And we'll add a bold pen. Ooh, I kind of made that a long way. Do you see that? Hmm, we might be lucky to get this on here. So we'll put this in. Okay, let's do this. Put it in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to want this and then the palm tree and then this with whatever I decide to put on there. Let's see if we have I think we'll put this um, US this stamp right here. I can read it. If I had a one of my green antique stamps, I would put that on there. As it would go well with this page. Okay. So we are ready, except we don't have our palm tree. Or we may end up using the palm tree somewhere else. So there's that. And then I think we'll go ahead and grab some of our scruffy yarn that we've been using. I don't know what happened. Looks like the inside came out. <laughs> Okay, so ooh, that gives us good good colors. I want short, so we'll go green, yellow, okay, and then Then I'm just going to tie this. So this is the scrubby yarn, I think it's called. It's the one that you use to make the scrubby washcloths. And I think I got it on clearance. I'm going to double tie it. There we go, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, that can pull down. I know, it took forever. 
but I love it. I love it. You could round the corners if you wanted to, and you could add more to the back, but I really, really like that. Okay, so using the Dear Julie Julie page and the Kara Brandon page, we are going to continue. I have this card or tag. This was cut with my Cricut. Okay. And I think if we go ahead and just put this on here, it's a project live card. It's actually from one of the title pages, it looks like. It was supposed to go, oh, uh, as part of the last page of your, your album, it says. But the color is great. The saying is great. It says, life is beautiful. there. Now with this, I want to see the life is beautiful. So okay. First I'm going to try this. I'm going to try just taking off this one flower kind of going around. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do it that way. Okay, so this gets hard over here, especially with um, my thumb. But the thing is, is once you've got it started, keep going. Try not to, not try not to go, try not to go out of bounds, like in soccer <laughs> or basketball. Try not to go out of bounds, because then you have to start over, and it's it's harder when you have to start over. Okay. So that can go on there. Let's check and see what we've got on. We could go all the way off. Like that because we this is a collaged book, so journal. It's got a lot of collaging in it. Okay, this one is upside down and backwards. But let's see. I think we I think that's what we're going to use though. this piece you know what let's go up here not waste that beautiful flower okay so I'm gonna put that down scratch paper that I had. Yeah, 
think we'll, we'll do that. So we'll put the saying on this one. So Tom was driving to work and at one point of his trip, all of the sudden, like all of the sudden, it was nine degrees hotter and he took a picture of the temperature gauge, it said 97 degrees. It was 525 in the morning, 97 degrees in the valley, San Fernando Valley. And he sent a text to to me and his two daughters. And one of his daughters wrote back, "And is that over the fault? Um, over the fault line? Because it was ten degrees hotter, or nine degrees, nine degrees hotter." And um, so he looked it up and wrote back, and sure enough, it was um, right over this one of. I think it was right over the San Andreas Fault. Might have been over a different fault actually but it was right over the fault and it was nine degrees hotter than both you know when he got to work he sent us a picture and it was 88 degrees the elevation levels are not not different but pretty pretty trippy not something I've ever thought about before. <laughs> okay, I think I want to use a ticket down here. Did I use both sides of the last yellow ticket? I mean, it's okay, because it's not like it won't get used at some point. I like the life down here. So we got some yellow here, and then we'll have yellow in the, the band. So let's go, if we go off like that. Got the word life down here. I like it. Okay, I don't know what I did. With it. It's like this yarn, I keep losing it. done a lot of collage cards lately. Take this. Go ahead and tie all four of these in a knot. So I haven't even mentioned we have a new challenge. The September Something Special Junk Journal Challenge. The details were released yesterday. So you can go right on over there and check it out. Um, the link to the details video is in the description box down below. So we could go ahead and turn that into like a little charm, but I think it's just distracting from this. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that like that. Okay. So life is, life is beautiful. Okay. So another thing that I had collected and I wanted to use in this was this toucan from the calendar. Remember we used the, the parrot in I'm going to go ahead and just keep going up because might as well. But isn't he cute? Little toucan. 
I'm just gonna cut him out. It's from a calendar, from an old calendar that I had. It was a bird calendar. And I've got a parrot that I can use later. It even looks like the parrots that are in the Tropical Fussy Pet Kit. Got those birds on the other side. Okay, so here is our our little toucan. Should he go on here? He could get fussy cut and go on here. I just cut his tail off. Oops. I'll just cut the... I'll show you how we'll fix that. We'll fix that like this, okay? Maybe. Or we can glue it back on if I can find it. If there's actually tail. All I can think of is Fruit Loops when I'm cutting him out. Okay. There we go. He can go on here. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like him on there. Okay, and then we have we have this. Oh, what if what, what if we turn him this way? He was a pocket and he was sticking out of the pocket because I thought about using that <clears throat> hmm okay well now I'm gonna wish I am I wishing that I had left him intact I might be wishing that I left him intact poor like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rip around. I'm curious, are you using all of the pieces from both days when you're making your projects for Flamingo Fridays? I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to use every bit of Kara's pages and and the Dear Julie Julie page. So far, I, I think I had one little piece left the other day. And I don't know where it's at. So <laughs> I have so many projects going on my desk right now. I have I'm almost well the jungle book journal is done but it's not to my standards I need to add um, some stamping and stenciling and maybe some more edges and things like that okay so there's that it could go down here I kind of like it down here what do you think well, I won't see it before I put it down. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to use this glue because it's the um, for shiny paper glue. Okay. Try not 
get any of it on my fingers. Okay, so if this is here, and I want the branch to be right at the edge, okay? Ah, we got some of the glue. And it is sticky too. It is a sticky glue. Which is good, right? Glue should be sticky. Ah, didn't come off. I don't want to, I mean, it really, it feels so weird on my hands. I really don't want to touch it. Okay, now this little guy is going to go down here. And this, um, the top part should be, it's going to go on shiny. But the bottom is not. down and there okay so we have used a an image from a calendar and the large tag piece from the dear Julie Julie page and this piece of collage from Kara Brandon's page. I love the way that looks. Um, I think that this one needs to be trimmed down. Okay. And you know what I have? <laughs> I have a time card. Could put this on that would look really cool but um, I'm not gonna waste it I'm not gonna, oh you know what else we have we have this oh look at that okay so this is um, yeah there's no address on here so this is junk mail that came in the mail I'm gonna use that I think that that will be really cool this is shiny so we're gonna put this on and then I'm gonna have to add something to the back of it because it's just pictures of the people that are that are coming to the Performing Arts Center And I had that in here because I was like, oh, that looks like it would work in my tropical journal that I'm still working on. Okay, so there's that and that. I think I could put the fish. Oh, almost could have put the fish. I don't want to cut them off. Let's see.
hate that the glues fall over all the time. That, that drives my anxiety crazy. Okay. Okay, so I can put these guys down here. And he's far enough forward. I can put this the same uh, it's from there so yeah we're gonna put this down so yesterday I took a whole Daphne's diary and I turned it into pockets so that I can send things in <laughs> like I'm tired of looking at them and knowing that I can't use them in my journal. I don't buy them anymore because they 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 do not um, allow you to use their products in things that you're selling and so I don't want to accidentally fall in love with something and go and put it in journal to sell. So I have mine and I have my mom's that we had collected. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm thinking this could be like a file card that goes in a journal. So um, let's see, how big is it? It's it's too big. <laughs> so let's cut it down a little. Okay. I'll cut a little off the top. You know what? We'll cut the top. Go. Now it is eight inches. Okay. And then this way it is six inches. So we'll need to cut some of this. Let's come over. under six. You know what? It could go I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that splash. You can do that with the Lind Lindy's I think. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to leave it like this. I may end up having to cut it down a little more to fit it, but it can go into a large pocket. And I can go ahead and make a little file edge to it over here so that it kind of sticks out a little bit. But I used the Dear Julie Julie um, piece. I used the calendar, and then we used a couple of the collage pieces from Kara's. I think it turned out really cool. So, yeah, so we'll put that up here. Oh my gosh, so this is our last Friday, our last Flamingo Friday 2022. Please check out that hashtag, Flamingo Fridays 2022, and see what everybody else has done. We had several people that have joined us late. So go back and check out what they have been making for days one, two, three, and four. Um, pretty exciting. And again, want to invite you to Kara's channel, 
live. She and I will both both be together live on Tuesday at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And we'll have the full details for the Fall Collab Challenge Hop with prizes. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Go watch these. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, don't forget, we have a new challenge. The details video is in the description box down below. I hope you'll join us. Bye. Bye-bye.